You got your toothbrush? Sure. Do you have your deodorant? Sure. Do you have your cozy clothes? Got that. What? Do they know I'm black? Should they? You might wanna, you know. Mom and Dad, my black boyfriend will be coming up this weekend. I just don't want you to be shocked that he's a black man. <laughs> I ain't never seen you like this before, bro. Meeting family, taking road trips. Don't come back all bougie, man. Come back, get your damn pants up to your damn stomach. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm not going back. If we go, they will die. You're a weekend sailor, it's not the bloody Navy. You should be at home! There's no hiding from this, son. We have a job to do. Turn it around! We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. We shall never surrender. Where's the bloody Air Force? If I told you about her, the princess without voice, what would I say? Eliza, come on. Eliza, hurry, hurry. She deaf? Mute, sir. She can hear you. You clean that lab, you get out. This may very well be the most sensitive asset ever to be housed in this facility. You may think that thing looks human. Stands on two legs, right? But we're created in the Lord's image. You don't think that's what the Lord looks like, do you? This creature is intelligent, capable of language, of understanding emotions. When he looks at me, he does not know how I am incomplete. He sees me as I am. J'avoue, je n'ai bavé pas vous, mon amour. The natives in the Amazon worship the local god. Get him out. What are you talking about? No. We need to take it apart, learn how it works. I don't want an intricate, beautiful thing destroyed. We can do nothing. I'm sorry. Don't do this, Elasa. What is she saying? Don't do this. Oh, God, it's not even human. If I told you about her, what would I say? I wonder. I hate California. I want to go to the East Coast. I want to go where culture is, like How New York, did I raise or at least Connecticut or New Hampshire, where writers live in the get woods. Get into those schools anyway. Mom, you should just go to City College. You know, with your work ethic, just go to City College and then to jail and then back to City College and then maybe you'd learn to pull yourself up and not expect everybody to do everything. <laughs> Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. Lady Bird always says that she lives on the wrong side of the tracks, but I always thought that that was like a metaphor. But there are actual train tracks. What she did was very baller. It was very anarchist. Put the magazine back! <laughs> she has a big heart, your mom. She's warm, but she's also kind of scary. You can't be scary and warm. I think you can. Your mom is. So, you're not interested in any Catholic colleges? No way. I want schools like Yale, but not Yale because I probably couldn't get in. <laughs> you definitely couldn't get in. Does mom hate me? If you're tired, we can sit down. I'm not tired. You're dragging your feet. You are so infuriated. Will you stop yelling? I'm not yelling. Oh, oh it's God. perfect. Do you love it? You both have such strong personalities. When is a normal time to have sex? You're having sex? I'm ready. Just wanted it to be special. Why? You're gonna have so much unspecial sex in your life. We're afraid that we will never escape our past. Whatever we give you, it's never enough. It's never it enough. It is enough. We're afraid of what the future will bring. We're afraid we won't be loved. You can't do anything unless you're the center of attention. We won't be liked. Yeah, well, you know your mom's tits, they're totally fake. She made one bad decision in 19. Two bad decisions. 
and we won't succeed. I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. What if this is the best version? What I'd really like is to be on Math Olympiad. But math isn't something you're terribly strong in. That we know of yet. Professor Pearl, madame. Hello. Thank you so much. So nice. Je suis très confiant. I can show you around. That'd be great. Thank you. So what do you do around here? Read books, transcribe music, swim at the river, go out at night. Sounds fun. All right, later. Just watch. This is how we'll say goodbye to us when the time comes. Later. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll have to put up with him for six long weeks. <laughs> Muscles are firm. Not a straight body in these statues. They're all curved. Sometimes impossibly curved. And so nonchalant, hence their ageless ambiguity, as if they're daring you to desire them. Oh, to see without my eyes The first time that you give Is there anything you don't know? Boundless by the time I cry You only knew how little I know about the things that matter. Build your walls around what things that matter? White noise, what an awful sound. You know what things. You're saying what I think you're saying. Feel my feet above the ground. You shouldn't have said anything. Have Just pretend you never did. <laughs> Nature has cunning ways of finding our weakest spot. So, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times has 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. We're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Ben, I might have something. It must be precious cargo. Just government secrets. The New York Times was barred from publishing any more classified documents dealing with the Vietnam War. If you publish, we'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. Nixon will muster the full power of the presidency, and if there's a way to destroy you, by God, he'll find it. I'm asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. She can't do this. The legacy of the company is at stake. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? You can sew almost anything into the canvas of a coat. When I was a boy, I started to hide things in the linings of the garments. 
things that only I knew were there. Secrets. Good morning. Will you have dinner with me? Yes. I feel as if I've been looking for you for a very long time. You look beautiful. Very beautiful. I have things I want to do. Things I simply cannot do without you. Reynolds has made my dreams come true. And I have given him what he desires most in return. <laughs> Every piece of me. Why are you not married? <laughs> Her arrival has cast a very long shadow. She's barely looked at you this evening, has she? May I warn you of something? My brother can feel cursed. That love is doomed for him. I don't like the fabric. Maybe one day you'll change your taste. Maybe I like my own taste. Just enough to get you into trouble. Perhaps I'm looking for trouble. Stop! There is an air of quiet death in this house. You're not cursed. You're loved by me. Stop playing this game. What game? What precisely is the nature of my game? All your rules and your clothes and all this money and everything is a game. This was an ambush. Stop. Are you sent here to ruin my evening? And possibly my entire life. Stop it! Whatever you do, do it carefully. We are in the preliminary stage of one of the greatest battles in history. Mr. Winston Churchill, you have an enormous task ahead of you. Winston lacks judgment. He's a bully. We may have to replace him. All our forces are in Dunkirk. The Germans are pushing us into the sea. You have the full weight of the world on your shoulders. Are you not afraid? Most terribly. I speak to you for the first time as Prime Minister in a solemn hour for the life of our country. You ask, what is our policy? I say it is to wage war by sea, land and air with all our might. We shall never surrender!